What is a what is a cogshaw job? So a cogshaw job is any kind of job that is you do it unnecessarily or you sort of half arse it. You do it quite badly. I'm going to knock on their door. I'm not going to point the camera in their faces, but they might tell me to get lost. Oh, some dogs. Hello. There's the, the famous Coggleshaw windmill, which, go on, go on. Uh, which didn't blow in the wind. I love this. So they uh, they built another windmill opposite it to blow wind at it. <laughs> Did you marry a local girl? Kelverden. From Kelverden? I bought her from Kelverden, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you bought her from Kelverden? Two and after three mile. Well, us Coggleshaw boys used to go over there to get, uh, get their girls and their boys would come over here. And we'd have a bit of a scrap because I'm one of their girls, you know. Okay. A day in the UK, everyone subscribe to him. <laughs> Brilliant guy. Like the South video. Good <laughs> morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of A Day in the UK. And today we are checking out the oldie weldy Essex town of Coggershaw, which lies in between Braintree and Colchester. So it started its life as an early Saxon settlement, but the newer part of Coggershaw probably started in around 1140. It's situated uh, at a ford at the River Blackwater and they've got a bonkers scarecrow festival slash competition that they put on each year. But we're going to start off at the Coggeshall Grange Barn and then we're going to get into the centre, check out the people and find out what Coggeshall is really about. I'll see you there. Cheers. Right folks, we're here. Coggeshall Grange Barn. And it says, let me read it to you. Let me read it to you with my face. How's that? The Great Barn of Coggershall stands as a lasting reminder of the once powerful Coggershall Abbey, its pillars soaring to support a vast roof which spans the centuries. Let's go and check it out, shall we? So we can't get into the barn, because it's closed. Coggershall's Great Barn was built roughly around 1240 as part of a large building campaign in Coggershall, and at this time the River Blackwater was diverted and St Stephen's Bridge built, as was the Gatehouse and Chapel of St Nicholas. Over the years, the Great Barn played the role of a storeroom, medieval sweatshop, village hall and even a film set, but it's probably more appreciated now than ever in its 800 year history. Right, so across from uh, Grange Barn was Abbey Road. Not Abbey Road Studios, no, nothing to do with the Beatles. Right, hang on a minute. What is this? Ah, St Nicholas Chapel. Okay, so I can see the Abbey up there, we'll check that out, but let's check out this church. Uh, St Nicholas Chapel. This 12th century building, 12th century, was a gatehouse and chapel to the nearby Cisterian Abbey, which we're going we're gonna to check out in a minute. Following a period of use as an agricultural building, the chapel was restored to sacred use in the late 19th century. Today it forms part of the Paris St Peter and Vincula. Did I say that right? <laughs> Cogashillians, did I say that right? Cogashall and is used for the occasional worship. Okay folks, let's walk down to the uh, the Abbey. See what we can find. Coggershall Abbey was founded in 1140 by King Stephen of England and Matilda of Bologna as a Sauvignac house. Now I'm not sure if it's a Savignac or Sauvignac house, but it became Cisterian in 1147. So Savignac was the monastic congregation of Savini. Um, or the Savignac Order, which was started in the Abbey of Savigny, situated in northern France. Right, we can finally get into the centre of Coggeshall now. Right, I've just jumped out of the car here at Grange Hill. Bow, 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 bow. Anyone wondering why I'm making that noise? Probably you youngsters won't have a clue. Grange Hill was a show year. Anyway, forget it. Look it up online. Nice little bridge. This is the River Blackwater. Isn't it stunning? Look at this, and over here, this is gorgeous, look. So we have, looks like mummy and daddy's swans and some babies. Let's zoom in and check it out. Gorgeous, look at that. Not only is this River Blackwater stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? I've met this yes. lady, what's your name, sorry, lovely? Vanessa. Vanessa? Yes. Right, just tell me the story, because I've just bumped into Vanessa on the way, I was just asking a few questions. What, what were you saying about this bridge here? What, what happened there a few years ago? Uh, years ago a yeah. man on the bridge with his bicycle right. and he put it on the edge and jumped yeah. with his bicycle into the river. I don't know why he wanted to do it, but he did it. <laughs> that is bonkers. Yes. <laughs> that is absolutely bonkers. Yes. And um, what did he do after he jumped in I don't obviously? Know. I went home. That was his, pro yeah. that was his problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was his problem. That was his problem, yes. 
Yeah. Nice to meet you, lovely. Yeah. All the best. Right. Cheers. It's a lovely day for it, isn't it? Lovely day to explore Cogshall. But I've just seen something. Check this out. Rude house built 16th century. On this site, a crucifix is said to have stood, marking the entrance to the abbey outer precinct. We've just been to the abbey, but that's a nice little touch before we enter the centre. Let's get on, shall we? So there's over 200 listed buildings in Coggershaw, and a lot of them are timber framed. You get that with these, uh, these quaint, oldie worldy English towns. Paycock's house. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Built by John Paycock, I believe around in the 1300s or so. Look at that building next to it as well. Isn't that remarkable? How do they keep it like that? I mean, the money that must go in, it's owned by the National Trust, which is why I can't shoot in there. Nobody asked. I've asked for you, can I shoot in Paycock's house? No. Free admission, garden bookshop, tea room. Let's check it out. So I've just met Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. Hi. You all right? <laughs> well, because I'm not allowed to um, film inside, uh, film inside the house. Too exclusive for me. <laughs> it's VIPs only. It's VIPs only. <laughs> what is Paycock's house? Uh, it's a cloth merchant's house. It's Tudor. Okay. Um, so it was finished in 1510. Yeah. Um, it was built as a business premises. Yeah. Uh, and it's very, very wide uh, because the guy who built it was a big show off and wanted to show off the had his money. So all these other houses are really skinny because you're taxed on your frontage right. two the times. So he made his house really, really wide because he could pay the tax. So that's that's pretty much. What a show off! Yeah. And um, did did locals did they like him or did they think he was a bit of a? We have no sort. idea really. We don't have any real written records. On but his we character. Do, but we do know that when he died, he left all of his workers' money in his will. So we think he was very generous because he paid people during his life, but he also left them stuff. So okay. When he died, sorry. So, um, so we think he was a nice guy. Just sound like he wanted to uh, live a nice lifestyle, right? Yeah, well, I think he, he was basically, he had a really a real premium product. So it's a bit like a you know, designer label now. Yeah. They have these big fancy, you know, glass shops that look expensive. And yeah. And trying to look expensive so he could attract, you know, rich buyers, as it were. Yeah. Right, now, when we were... Um, when I popped my head into Paycox, right, we were chatting, right, you were talking about something random. Right? Yeah, so it's a Coggershaw job. What is a, what is a Coggershaw job? So a Coggershaw job is any kind of job that is, you do it unnecessarily or you sort of half ass it, you do it quite badly. <laughs> so my favourite example is the people of Coggershaw, they knew that there were floods forecast, you know, lots of rain. So this guy who didn't want his upstairs to flood, he was worried about the top floor of his house, he removed a staircase. So the, so the water can get up Are you serious? Yeah, that's, that's what people tell me anyway. So there's loads of stories like that where people, they, some, it was like their clock broke, but another guy, he was in another town and he heard their clock and he thought that their clock chimed too many times. Right. So they, the theory was that that town had stolen a chime from their clock. What? And put it in their clock. So they went around there with like pitchforks and went to go fight them for their chime. Um, this... <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> the that... people of Coggeshaw have a reputation for being a bit... Well, they did. They had a reputation for being a bit stupid. I don't think anymore. But... Okay. What a gem you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am off. Look out for the video. <laughs> I'll see you soon. All Thank the best. Cheers. See you later. Ta -ra. Coggeshillians. That's what I'm going to call you lot. A very nice. A very nice. I wonder if we can meet some real, authentic Coggeshillians. People that have lived here their entire life. And if there's an accent that goes with that as well. Okay, let's get into the centre of the town, shall we? Look at this. This is random. What's going on here? I feel like there's more of a meaning to this outside this house. I'm going to knock on their door. I'm not going to point the camera in their faces, but they might tell me to get lost. Oh, some dogs. Hello. Hello. Back in YouTube. Yeah, yeah. What's it? What's the subject? Do you want to be in it? What's the subject? Coggershaw. Uh, okay. What do you know about it? What, about Coggershaw? Yeah. Do you let you local? Braintree, I am. Braintree. Ah. 
Yeah, I wonder what this was, bud. These things here, it's unique. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm just, uh, I've just come across and I've seen this. I just wonder if there was a meaning to it. I know we've got dogs and we've got whip kits. Oh, right, yeah. so that's all it is. That's all it is, <laughs> yeah. You gotta ask, yeah, you gotta ask. We see something that's a little bit interesting. Do not cross. What's happened here? What is going on? Some kind of criminal offence in the phone booth. Anyway. So we're on West Street now. I mean, it's a, it's a very quiet little uh, town anyway. It looks more like a village to me, but um, it's Sunday, so I wouldn't imagine it's gonna be very busy. There's something going on over there. Right, so I've just met this lady. What's your name, sorry? Lucy. Lucy, Adam. Nice to meet nice, you. Nice to meet you, right? So you run Cafe, this is all right, look at this. Cafe Bijou. Cafe Bijou, right? I'll be honest with you, I've heard about you. Have you? <laughs> yeah, Kirsten. Kirsten okay, spoke yes. about you. Yes. She said you love chatting about Coggershaw. We do, and our, in this, in the artwork, there are yeah. actually seven things to do with Coggershaw. Is there? Oh, and show us, show us, what's going on? To find them. So here, this is Coggershaw, the Coggershaw lace pattern. The Coggershaw lace pattern, yeah. It's all famous for Coggershaw lace. The Tudor roses. The Tudor roses, what significance are they then? The Paycocks is a very famous building, and yep. that's just up the road, and that's a fantastic Tudor building. Yeah. So that's there. Okay, um, go on. We've got our, co our coffee. We are the best coffee in Coventry. We like. Where's, where's the coffee? Coffee beans. Oh, there. yeah, the coffee beans. And then this, All right. this is Dick Nunn's Bridge, which is a Coventry icon. Where's that? That's up there somewhere. That's right, I haven't seen. Icon. I haven't seen Dick Nunn's got to Bridge. Find Dick Nunn's Bridge. It's special. <laughs> and then wait, 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 wait. You can't. What is what is Dick's nu Dick Nunn's bridge? Dick Nunn created a footbridge, right. um, so that people working in Coggeshall could cross the bridge without having to go all the way around the outside. And that it looks good old Dick Nunn. Good old Dick Nunn, and it looks just like that. But Coggeshall is um, famous for more more than that, though. It's famous for the term a Coggeshall job. I've heard about this. <laughs> now I want to give me give me another Coggeshall job, right? Because Kirsten gave me a couple. Okay. She said about the bloke that took his staircase away. Yeah, right. well, there's the, the famous Coggleshaw windmill, which, go on, go on. Uh, which didn't blow in the wind. I love this. So they uh, they built another windmill opposite it to blow wind at it. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the phrase was coined when the vicar at the church yeah. uh, noticed there was grass growing on the roof of the church. And yeah. he said, well, I can't have that. I can't have my parishioners thinking, you know, I keep a shoddy shop. So yeah. he put a goat on the roof to eat the grass, which promptly fell off and died. <laughs> what? Yep. They tried to turn the tide of the river. They tried to turn that by uh, by blocking it in. Didn't work. And do, then... do you think then it's like it's like a thick gene or something? Well, well, well when the you lot seem to be pretty smart we, to me. This well, is obviously you've evolved. Since that's then. it. We have evolved. Lovely to meet you. I'm going to get off to the clock tower. I reckon. Ah yes, go and have a look. It's beautiful. Lovely. See Thank you later. You. See you, kids. Bye -bye. I'll be back. See you later. See ya. What a set of stories. Bonkers. We'll head on down this way. Mark Marchant. Not sure how it's like a little antique place or something like that. The Chapel Inn. The Chapel Inn in Coggershaw. Oh, it's a nice sniff coming from that. Smells lovely. Yeah, this is beautiful. Check this out, everyone. Check this out. That is absolutely stunning. I love that colour as well. What is that? Like, it's not duck egg blue, is it? There's some information here. The tower was restored and a new clock erected therein in commemoration of Queen Victoria's Jubilee on the 21st of June, 1887. Clock was started on the 17th of December, 1888 by R. Curzon Esquire, Chairman, Vice Chairman, and then a load of names. I can see something else here. We have another black clock house, 14th and 15th century. Rooms were leased here, 1787 to 1859, to educate children of the poor with money bequeathed by Sir Rod Robert Hitcham. And they lived here. Christ, look at that sun. Yeah, it's a beautiful building. Well, we'll take a little further walk down the street and then we'll double, we'll backtrack and see what else we can find, everyone. Have you been to Coggershaw? Uh, we've got a little cafe here, that looks nice. Okie dokie everyone. I have been... Hello. What's this? Okay, I've just seen the uh, museum. I was going to check out the museum. I wasn't sure where it was, but... Uh, 
here it is down this passageway so we've got to check it out I need to know a bit more of the history of Coggershaw Coggershaw's past hello how's it going how are you? Fine, thank you. Brilliant, my name's Adam. Right, well, I've met some Coggershaw rascals. How you doing? How you doing fellas? Good. What's it like living in Coggershaw? Uh, it's alright. Yeah. It's alright? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is there stuff you wish you had in Coggershaw? Uh, no, it's, it's quite better a nice than place. <laughs> What's that again? It's quite a nice place. It's God, they're really nice kids. Enjoy, enjoy the museum. Yeah? yeah? Go and check it out. Get your history sorted, yeah? Right, you, I'm hearing you're a knowledgeable man here at the museum, Dudley. I know a little, not, not as much as most, but I know enough of them. Brilliant the stuff. Purposes, I mean. Probably the four main things I would talk about. Yep. One is here. Yep. Which is the story of Dick Nunn, local champion, local folk hero. Dick Nunn, right. Yep, I've heard about this, this gentleman. In, uh, really right okay um he's he's been in the news recently because right. whether your camera can catch it go on back in 1892 oh wow he built a bridge across the river blackwater for people's use stunning i've not seen this yet but i've yeah i've heard of, i've heard about this i'd like to go there yeah how far away is that it's about half a mile away half a mile away about 20 minutes right okay um, also in his day he went to prison for yeah. trying to reduce the uh, the steepness of grange hill because the horses were having trouble going up it without any authority whatsoever. Okay. He began to uh, attack it and got arrested. He knocked down buildings he thought were unfit. <laughs> his smithy, He's like a social activist. Absolutely. People's right. champion. People's champion, his, okay. His smithy has been discovered in right. Swan Yard. Wow, look at and that. And there are attempts at the moment to get it listed so we can save it from um, dereliction. What's going on over here? This is one it's... of the exhibits which uh, our younger visitors enjoy. Right. Pleased to say that from over a hundred years ago, yeah. the punishment book from the local school You're joking. has been preserved. Right. And looking here at 1921-22, yeah. all the naughty children in the old days who... Obviously, Is that a proper cane? It serves the purpose. I can't authenticate the date, but if you swish it about enough, I think it would certainly hurt. Did you ever have the cane growing up? I was too good. No. <laughs> Also too young. Uh, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's have a look at some of the entries here. The one I always like is where three boys got the cane for nipping over the wall into the neighbour's garden and stealing walnuts. Is that here? Um, no, is that, that's another part of it's it. In, it's, in, it's in the book. What's this? Uh, let's see. Misbehaving while under charge, stealing from school garden. What else is it? Damaging boys' bicycle in playground. How many canes do you get for that? Is that four? Four strokes, on, Four the hand, strokes on, the hand. on the hand. Vicious. Playing in school. Two strokes on the hand. Okie dokie. What else should we so, know? Thirdly, much of Coggershaw's wealth in the Middle Ages came from the wool trade. They, Go on. There used to be an abbey just around the corner. Yes. Assertion. Um, I went to the abbey. Um, I've given out some information, but what else could you tell me about the abbey? Existed from... Um, 1140 to 1538. Yeah. They own 55,000 acres of land. Right. In North Essex and Hertfordshire. Yeah. Um, much of their wealth came from the wool trade. Obviously. Right. Right. And Co the uh, Coppershaw White's cloth was very famous and led to the wealth of Coppershaw. And if we just go around the corner here, in, in later years, yeah. uh, Tambor Lace was a. What is Tambor Lace? Tambor Lace is. Essentially, just go in the corner here. Oh yeah, right, okay. Tambour from the word um, for drum in French. Yeah. Um, essentially, the um, the bass is stretched over a frame. Okay. It's there, and it's more or less uh, embroidery, perhaps rather than lace. But uh, Coggeshall Tambour lace is quite well known. And Do that, is there a shop that still sells that? No, no, no. No. Dudley, thank you so much. Really appreciate the tour. I'm going to get off out and see the rest of Coggershaw. Good luck. Brilliant stuff. Nice to meet you, Fred. All okay. the best. Okay. Cheers. Okay, we're going to walk towards Church Street now. I'll tell you the vibe I get walking around Coggershaw. Hello. <laughs> Looks very civilised in there. It's got a feel. It's got a feel of a French village. Takeaway tea room. Hello. Hello. How's it going? I like your hatch. I'm very good, thanks. Very good. What's your name, lovely? I'm Jan. You're Jan? I am. 
Hello, Adam. Hello, Adam. Hello, Adam. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Again. So, uh, how long have you been? How long have you been here in um, the village? I've been here since December. The shop's yeah. been here for a couple of years, but I took it over in December. Nice. Do you know what I was just saying to everyone? I was just saying this Coggeshall reminds me of a little French village with the arc, like isn't yes. it? Yeah. It is a little bit like that. It's really friendly. This is really good actually because this has become a bit of a hub now. Yeah. So people on their own can come in and they sit in here and then they meet other people. Beautiful. It's really nice. Okay. She's got nice flowers outside. This end's a bit messy because I'm clearing. This side's. Oh, it goes on. It does come on. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful environment. Come to Bake Alicious, everyone. <laughs> It's a shame I can't sample your goods, but uh, I will definitely come back anyway. Good. So we're open every day apart from Mondays. Right, every day apart from Monday. Beautiful. Nice to meet you. You too. All the best. Thank you. See Bye. you later. Bye. Okie dokie. Okay, we are on Church Street, and this is the old black boy. So allegedly, look at that. Allegedly, there is about 17 pubs in this area, in Coggeshaw. Look at the buildings. Hello mate. How you doing, all right? Yeah, good, you all right? Yeah. Look at this one, look at the way it's slanted. Beautiful. Hello mate. Hello. How's it going? You local, are you? Coggeshaw, yeah. Yeah? What's it, what's, what's it like? Yeah? yeah? Ah, do you know, I've been meaning to find a Coggeshaw man yeah, born and bred. Green Street, which runs parallel to here. Yeah. Oh, really? Here in the old garden as well, yeah. Can I just say everyone, listen to the accent there. That's a proper North, proper North Essex, Essex accent. accent. Not like you get on the, here on the Essex on the telly, is it? <sighs> I love it, mate. That, Completely different. It's kind of a Farmer Giles accent, isn't well, it? Well, it's a crow fly. We're only about eight miles from Bill, as you see. It's a Suffolk border, isn't it? So, of course it is. So see. <laughs> What's it like living in Coggeshall? It's okay. It's a bit different now to what it was because we haven't got the shops and the amenities that we used to have. Right. Everywhere, Coggeshaw was self-sufficient. Right. I mean, my nan lived here all her life, never ever went to London. You know, Seriously? Didn't need to, you know, in them days you didn't. And my dad, you know, he never went to London. He, he, he come from Colchester, mum was from Coggeshaw, you know. And, and this is where I was brought up with my brother and my sister and we absolutely loved it. We used to race our bikes around here, like a balladrome from Queen Street round here. And, there weren't no cars, you never see a car. You could race, Seriously? You could race your bike train here, no, no problem. It must be like, but it must be nice, the fact that um, even though you've noticed the change there, probably in uh, you know places you can sort of shop and be self-sufficient, it yeah. is like a town in time, frozen in time, isn't yeah, it? It is. We've got lovely buildings. There's a wonderful focal point, that Market Hill, because everything comes to that. It's beautiful. See. I love that. I don't like a main main road going straight through like Kelvin and all marks or anything yeah. like that. Here, you've, you've got that focal point. So when we have do's on, we can close that bit off, you see, and everybody can have a, have a dance around on the Market Hill. <laughs> when you've had a few pops, you know. Did you marry a local girl? Kelvin. From Kelvin? I bought her from Kelvin, yes. So <laughs> <laughs> you bought half, her from Kelvin. Two and a half to three mile. Well, us Coggeshaw boys used to go over there to get uh, get their girls, and their boys would come over here, and we'd have a bit of a scrap because they ain't one of their girls, you know. And I said, well, Really? Yeah, I've gone back 40. I've been married 47 years, so. You, you don't look old enough, mate. How old are you? I'm six, I should be 69 shortly. You're joking! Yeah. And Christ, just, everyone, look at him. Yeah. And I'm just going to the Con Club to have a beer because uh, that's the elixir of life, a good point of English. <laughs> good point of English, bitter. What are you having? What's, what's your tipple? Which one? Well, that's whatever they've got on. Whatever they've got whatever on. They've got in there, they'll have, they'll have three types of English bitter on, English beer on. <laughs> Apart from all your lagers that the idiots drink, but uh, I stick to English English bitter. Good for you, mate. And I work for three places in, in Coggeshall that are all closed down now, all the work's gone, you see. It's a shame. Yeah, yeah there was a big seed and corn mill in Coggeshall. I drove a lorry for them. Oh, really? I a lorry for the Ozen Glass factory up in West Street where they used to make use the spring bladders of fish to make findings for all the breweries. Oh really? You can't have you can't have clear beer and clear wine if you haven't got findings in it. No. And that's what it's made from. And that's where a lot of the guys around here they would go to work. Yeah they'd go to work there. All the women worked at the stitching factory, that big building at the far end there that's derelict now. Oh that's okay. A, when you get up there that's a stitching factory. Okay. All the women would work there. Or they'd work in the laundry in West Street. Everywhere else where we where we all used to work it's, it's all gone. But you're still here. You're still here. I'm still here. There's not many of us, you see. In my year, I think there's two other blokes in Coggeshall who managed to stay here because everywhere had you, you had to move out. 
you, yeah, you had course. to move out for work or a house. You couldn't afford the houses here because the prices, as soon as you mention Coggeshill, the price, prices go up. So really? It always is done. Yeah. Hello. See another lady over there. Another How you lady. doing? Yeah, <laughs> She lives here, she's still got her flags out, look, bless her. A bit of the bunting. Yeah. Mate, it's so nice speaking to you. What's your name? Roy. Roy, Adam. Absolutely lovely yeah. speaking to you. Yeah, nice to meet you, lovely. Brilliant, enjoy lovely. your beer, yeah? Yeah, I'll pay for it, don't worry. <laughs> See you later. What an absolute legend. And this is the old stitching factory. Roy was talking about, is this the old stitching factory? <laughs> what, what was it called? <laughs> Hollington's. Yeah. Uh, Lovely. Thanks very much. Well, it's sad, isn't it? It's, it's derelict. All that history. Why don't they do something with it? It saddens me when you see stuff like this in an area. You just look and you think, all the things that they could do with this. I mean, I don't. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Raves. I bet some illegal raves going in there, didn't they? Illegal raves in Coggeshall. Nah, I can't see it actually. How epic is this? Look at this. Okay. Look at this, look at this everyone. Let's read this, yeah? Woolpack Inn, 14th to 16th century. 1665, home of the Reverend T. Lowry, elected minister of the Church of England. Licensed for worship, 1672. Licence for worship, interesting. And licence as an inn, 1708. Look at the timber frames. It's stunning, isn't it? So we have the parish church of St. Peter ad Vincula, Coggeshall, Essex. Right, so this is one of the largest churches in Essex. And here's a fact for you. It was bombed in World War II, um, causing the roof of the nave to collapse and also other structural damage which is obviously being repaired now actually let's see if we can see if we can get in there shall we okay yes worship has been offered here since saxon times and the doomsday book mentions a priest incumbent here at the time of the survey in 1068 st peter ad vincula was built at a time of great wealth and great faith and the church we see today was constructed in the perpendicular style in the early 15th century when coggershaw enjoyed prosperity of the wall trade St Peter's Church is one of the largest in Essex and is Grade 1 listed. There are two side chapels, Lady Chapel and St Catherine's Chapel, which are regularly used for prayer. Okay, just leaving the church. And across the road here, so we've got the Coggeshall sign. Is that like a woolen merchant or a cotton merchant or a weaver? That's nice, isn't it? 2000. So, make a little jaunt down here. It looks like a pathway to a park, I believe. It looks like there's a, there's a road over there that runs adjacent to Church Street, and you've got this gorgeous park. Hi right, guys, are you locals, are you? Yeah. What's it like living around here? Good. <laughs> What's the vlog called? A day in the UK, a I'm called. The UK. A day in the UK. A day in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to post it? Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll be on it, yeah. yeah it's YouTube. A day in the UK. Where are you going to be in it? You are. Add my snap, Thomas Keaton. <laughs> oh, God, here What's we go. Cool? <laughs> All right. All right. Cool? All right. Cool? A day in the UK. A, a day in the UK. Everyone subscribe to him. <laughs> Brilliant. Guy. Like the South video. Is that you? You've got 2.1k followers. Yeah. Why are you down here then? Ah, get off my neck. I like a bit of Coggeshall. Yeah, I've, I've taken a walk through, West but Ham I've never. Massive. No, no. no. <laughs> Who do you support? West Ham. <laughs> Arsenal. Oh, yes, get out! Arsenal. <laughs> oh. So, uh, what, 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 do, what do youngsters do around here then? What do you do? Get drunk. Get drunk. Get drunk. Get drunk. No, no, no. Yeah. In George Austin Rivers. What? Yeah, we jump in the rivers all the time. Oh yeah. yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, you know, uh, uh, down mill. Down there. Down there. Near the mill. Or near the football ground, yeah. Usually, right, when you when you get a place like this, chocolate box, little village, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Most just most people your age, they just want to avoid it, go out to London just to yeah. just get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Yeah, um, do you want to do that? Or you no, just, you do? Yeah. But you said you loved it. Nah, I like the place. Go, 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 go explore. Go I'm going. You go explore, aren't you? Do you hit the, do you hit Braintree? Yeah, yeah, I live near Braintree. Braintree stinks. So. Do you? Yeah, I, yeah near Braintree. Braintree. I like Braintree. You know Silver End? Yeah. That's where we live. Yeah, we live there. Oh, yeah. you twat. <laughs> Sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll leave you lot to it, yeah? Thanks. Good to meet you all. Good Have a good day, mate. Subscribe. Yeah, I'll subscribe. Subscribe. I'll See you later. Have a good day, I'll, I'll subscribe now. <laughs> See you later, yeah? Later. All the best. No. No, no he left me hanging. The Coggleshaw. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, come on. It's the Coggleshaw lot. See you later. Have a good day, mate. See ya. The Coggleshaw Massive. It's the Coggleshaw Massive. That cracked me up. What do you What do you guys do? What do you do? Oh, we jump in the river. That's, that is what youngsters used to do. Did you used to do that? We weren't on the phones. We weren't on iPads. We weren't on computers. We actually went out and lived. I mean, that's, that's the way it used to be, right? It used to be fun. Get out in the fresh air, have a laugh, play around, roast a marshmallow by a river. Anyway. This is beautiful as well, look. You can see, it just continues. Stunning, stunning properties. This gorgeous little chocolate box town. Right, I'm gonna head back to the car. I've just been heading down East Street and we're gonna check out Nuns Bridge now. We're gonna jump back in the car and go to Nuns Bridge because everyone's spoken about it. It looks stunning. But there's something else as well because they're digging a quarry nearby and who knows, when people start doing that, when, when these corporations start doing that, you never know if, if these historical artifacts are gonna survive. So it might be that five, 10, 15 years, Nuns Bridge doesn't exist anymore, I hope not, but I wanna see it directly, just in case that happens. So let's get there now, come on. Okay everyone, anyone visiting Nuns Bridge, if you wanna come down and follow some of my footsteps, I'm at Cog Coggleshaw Town Football Club, and this is where I'm going, just to give you some idea on where you will walk as well. And the gentleman I just saw said, come all the way down here, keep the river to the left, you'll see a meadow, and walk right from there, and you'll see the bridge from there. So, let's see if we can find it, shall we? So, as we keep the river Blackwater on our left-hand side, we are approaching Henry Dick Nunn's Bridge. Social campaigner, local blacksmith. That's gorgeous. Here it is. And I didn't expect that. Is that like a light pink? I do believe it is. That's beautiful, isn't it? Here we are. In 1875, the old wooden footbridge which stood on this spot was washed away. And local blacksmith, Henry Dick Nunn, feared it would never be replaced and an ancient right of way would therefore be lost and encouraged by the local doctor dick decided he would build his own wrought iron bridge and he was a blacksmith not just a social campaigner a blacksmith as well and in june 1892 he set to work in his smithy which we now know actually exists which is great at swan yard in the center of coggershaw okay looks like we're gonna jump over the top of this do you know what i'm thinking straight away everyone I'm thinking this, this would be an incredible place to propose. Let me know if any of you locals have proposed to your lady on this bridge. I reckon you have. You'd come down in the morning, wouldn't you? You know, deck it out with flowers, make it all look nice, get on one knee, I can just picture it. Listen, we have come to the end of our Coggershaw trip. I think it's been amazing. I've loved the people, they've been so, so friendly. So many quirky aspects to Coggershaw. I didn't expect it. I've passed through before, now I know a lot more. It just gives the place so much more richness, the stories, the architecture, fantastic. So until next time, hope you've had a good time. Come down, check out Coggershaw, and I'll see you in the next video. All the best, cheers.